Guy Harvey, artist, scientist, angler, diver, conservationist, and family man. Journey with Guy to the world's greatest fishing waters, where every fish, every fight is a window on another world where every catch is a portrait from the deep, waiting to be painted. Go exploring with Guy in the last wild country under the waves. Initially, we considered transferring this huge marlin for tagging, but as the day wears on, the best option is to put Wit and Bill on the Spain. Get ready. Put um, ten on there. One. You're good. You're good. You're good. Neil Patrick is an IGFA trustee and the owner of Halco Tackle. He's a very experienced angler from Australia who has done battle with many big marlin in his home waters. Here now, he's severely tested with a huge marlin on 50-pound line. Keeping constant pressure on the marlin for hours, everyone on board, including Neil's wife, Annie, patiently wait for another glimpse of this immensely powerful animal. Neil is very smooth, pacing himself, and we're lucky with the conditions. Just perfect for a quick dive on the monster marlin. Masso never lets the marlin get settled into a rhythm and constantly alters the direction of the pull on the fish, bringing it closer to the surface. It's now time for some radical action. Neil has been on the marlin for over four hours, and so I hatch a plan. Asking his permission, I'll take down a swivel of our 80-pound transfer rod and reel and try and clip this to the leader. So Bill will be able to assist Neil in raising the marlin faster so we get it tagged and on its way in good condition. Two more hours of this and the fish will be toast. As I swim up to the marlin, apart from its immense size, I see another leader hanging down its right side. In the right corner of its jaw is a Tropic Star 20-0 circle hook and leader. All the marlin leaders are made up to be 15 feet, so I know right away that the short length of this fish is about 13 feet. But swimming with her, I marveled at her size. It took seven attempts to get the swivel on the leader, as each time I came close, she would jet away with a casual flick of her massive tail. But on the eighth attempt, I succeeded. What, am I? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right, Neil, double team. It's on, baby, it's on. That is something. That is something. That fish is pulling against both of these drags. Finally, with Bill now attached to the marlin, the two anglers should expedite the catching and tagging process. Or so we thought. <laughs> 